All right, ready. Start off with Alex Schiffer from The Athletic. Hey, Blake, I think you guys had seven different players with multiple assists tonight. Just given James being out and his impact on the playmaking, just what would you make of the way you guys were able to create for each other by committee? I thought we did a good job. I mean, you know, that, that initial, the initial, I don't know, for lack of a better word, shock of him kind of being out so quickly. Um, I thought we, we kept our head, you know, we kept our head above water. Um, and then once we settled down, I thought everybody did a good job. But I mean, we've unfortunately had a lot of practice. Um, I had a lot of experience, at, at, you know, playing with, with guys out all year. So um, it was kind of fortunate that we, you know, we, we knew exactly what to do and guys stepped up. To follow up real quick, were you able to see what happened to James? No, I, did, I didn't really see it at all. I, I, <clears throat> yeah, I didn't see it at all. Mike Andrews, ESPN. Like just given the conversations that we've had over the past couple of months on where you were, you know, struggling with injuries years ago, to have a performance like this, to walk off the floor, to have Barclay Center standing up, giving you a standing ovation. I mean, what was that moment like for you? Uh, it felt good. I mean, you know, I've sort of talked about it, but for two years, I kind of like, you know, I didn't, I didn't hear much positivity, um, and you know, probably rightfully so, but. Um, it's pretty crazy how quickly, um, you know, it happens. Um, so I'm just thankful for, you know, this chance and, and the opportunity. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Blake, when, when James goes out like that, do you think to yourself, uh, okay, somebody has to step up right here, and did you kind of take it upon yourself consciously to, to make that kind of effort? Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, anytime we lose a player, you know, somebody has to step up, but it was collective. You know, we, we said that in the huddle. Um, you know, we'll be all right. We got to step up, everybody. Um, so, you know, I, I, I had a feeling coming in this series a little different than last series, you know, the, the different defensive schemes and, and a little bit more opportunity. Uh, obviously a bigger team, so playing a little bit more minutes. So, um, you know, Everybody puts in the work every single day. Everybody stays ready. Everybody that played tonight had a, had a pretty pretty big impact. So, um, you know, I'm proud of proud of everybody. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hey, Blake, this is twofold. One, I'm curious, uh, what was your impression of the uh, of your defense, particularly your guys' perimeter defense, holding them to six for thirty? And on the other end, um, Boston obviously switched everything. This team didn't switch as much, went back to drop. Mm -hmm. uh, were you surprised at that? I mean, they've switched a lot more this season than they did last season. So were you surprised at the way they were playing? Uh, I thought we did a good job, you know, defending the three. I mean, <clears throat> they got some looks that they just didn't hit. Um, but I thought we also did a, a good job. You know, I think there's always room for improvement. That's just sort of like the, the player in me. But... Um, I honestly, I wasn't surprised they didn't switch. I, you know, the previous two times we played them, uh, when I was with the team, when I was when I was here, when we played them back to back, uh, they did, they weren't really switching much. They were kind of doing the same thing. So that was kind of what we expected. Um, so we'll see how they come out next game. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. What's going on, Blake? Uh, I'm just curious. Was there a point in your career where you realized that okay, well, you know, scoring 25 or 30 points and couldn't 10 or 12 rebounds a game is cool, but making those hustle plays and, and fighting for those 50-50 balls can actually be the difference in winning a game. Uh, you said, was there a point when I realized that? Yeah. Yeah, um, Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think when I, was, when I was coming to this team, one of the things I felt like I could bring was like some physicality and, and some plays like that. Um, you know, when you have a team as dynamic as this team with three scores who can kind of score from anywhere. Joe, who, who also just takes, you know, seems like every shot he shoots is going in. I feel like you, you kind of have to fill those, <clears throat> fill those holes somewhere. And, you know, like what Bruce Brown has done for the team all year long is huge. You know, and I was watching that um, and I felt like, you know, that's, a <clears throat> that's another hole that, that could be filled. So, um, you know, like I've, like I've been saying at this point, you know, being a part of big something bigger than yourself and, and trying to win is, is takes precedence. So you do whatever it takes. Thanks for your time, Blake. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Blake. Thanks, Blake.